May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all on this Thursday morning. I'm a day late in getting out my midweek meditation this week, mainly because uh, it was such a beautiful day yesterday that I decided to do a little yard work, and time slipped away, and I thought it would be better if I did it this morning. So I want to start off this morning uh, with our Psalm of the Week, and the Psalm that I have selected this week is Psalm 96. Uh, Listen to and hear the word of the psalmist, which is the word of God. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name, proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him, strength and glory in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness Tremble before him, all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Then all the trees of the forest will sing for joy. They will sing before the Lord For he comes. He comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples in his truth. When I was reading that today about how we should be singing to the Lord new songs, it reminded me that one of the ways I'm getting through our current pandemic is, believe it or not, I am learning how to play the ukulele. Don't worry, I'm not going to play it for you right now. I am well distant from any type of true skill at it, but it's fun. I'm learning some chords, learned a couple songs, and it's something that we all can do during this pandemic where we are uh, sheltering in place uh, as best we can to prevent the spread of the virus. Uh, we can do things that are small, little, but they, they take our mind off the, the worries of the world and allow us to uh, move into the presence of God through music, Uh, through gardening, through yard work, through hobbies around the house, uh, through taking a walk with your dog, uh, through just listening to the trees, uh, praise the Lord, as the psalmist says. And so these are some of the things that I recommend to you uh, during this pandemic. I do have some announcements that I want to share with you this morning. Uh, First of all, We will be uh, having Staycation Bible School this year, as I've said before. For information about Staycation Bible School and opportunities to volunteer to assist uh, or to register if you have a child that you want to participate in SBS, uh, check out the church's webpage, uh, www.johnmcmillanpc.org, and you can get all the information you need about how to register or how to participate in Staycation Bible School. We're also continuing to grow our own food in uh, in our Shim garden uh, to provide fresh vegetables to the people who go to Shim for their food. Uh, It's one of the ways we are sharing food with the world around us. If you would like to participate in gardening, uh, you can contact Carolyn Bro. Uh, She is in charge of the Shim garden and she will assign you a time to go out and some deeds to be done uh, so that we can keep our social distancing in place and so we continue to continue to grow our food. We are also continue to serve from the stoop. Uh, as Matt and Emma have told you in the past, uh, we pick up food on Mondays from noon to two o'clock. Uh, and all you need to do is, if you're going to have food out for us, is send information to the church at uh, jmpc at jmpc.johnmcmillanpresbyterianchurch.org. Let me say that again, jmpc at johnmcmillanpc.org. That's the website for the church office. And Leslie needs to get that information by Sunday evenings so that she can prepare the pickup lists for all our drivers on Mondays. Uh, So please participate in serving from the stoop so that we can continue to assist people who don't have enough food to eat right now. 
Also, one of the interesting things that's going on is we are uh, creating a painted rock garden in the meditation uh, garden by the church. Uh, if you would like to get some information about that, go to the JMPC Community Facebook page and you will see a video of our own Emily Shabella describing what it is that the church wants to do. Uh, we're looking for people to pick up some rocks, uh, paint them with pictures, or just paint them, bring them up to the church, and place them in the meditation garden so that we can retain our community spirit as we move through the pandemic. Also, I recommend that you continue to check out our Facebook page uh, for John McMillan Presbyterian Church. And when you're there, make sure that you look for the John McMillan Presbyterian Church Community Facebook page and, and also the, uh, the events uh, of the John McMillan Presbyterian Church, which includes Children's Church and a lot of different lessons for our children uh, that, so that we can keep our uh, Sunday school program going even during the time of sheltering in place. Uh, a couple of other things I want to bring to your attention. First of all, uh, Matt will be preaching on Memorial Day. That's a week from this Sunday. And also the Sunday after that, May 31st, will be a Pentecost. And so we can uh, look forward to uh, the birthday of the church on Pentecost Sunday on May 31st. And now I'd like you to join me in prayer, if you would, please. Uh, let's pray together. Loving God, remember the whole human family especially those who hunger for food or justice, those who lack homes or human dignity. So many are unknown to us, yet each known to you and each a child of your love. Remember your people in every part of the world, redeemed by Christ, dedicated to service, called to love. Remember your churches in all the places in the world, set in their particular communities that have particular needs, set there to light the way to your grace and truth. Remember those who are ill or sorrowing, those who are concerned for dear ones, those who have difficult choices to make, especially any known to us whom we commend to you now, the governments of all the world, President Trump, the Congress, the Supreme Court, the governors of all the states as they try to determine what is the safest way to bring us back into our economic life. May they know that nothing is able to separate them from your love in Jesus Christ. But we ask that you give them discernment and insight so that they can do what is best in your eyes. By your mercy, Lord, bring us at the last with all your faithful people to the peace and joy of your nearer presence through Jesus Christ our Lord who taught us this prayer saying our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever Amen. Well, I will virtually see you this Sunday when the sermon will be, How Does God Want Us to Have Hope? And let us have hope that we will see each other soon. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.